what's up hey uh we're here <laughs> as always uh and there's skyrim it uh, finally decided to to show up um i think it's still on mute it is well no it isn't it's just very quiet for some reason it's fine <laughs> that works too all right back into the game let me just make sure we have sound do we have sound we don't Hold up, hold, hold, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Oh, I'm looking at the wrong thing. Whoa, whoa. It's not even showing up on my thing. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> that's not good. Uh, welcome to this, this train wreck. <laughs> Why is Skyrim not showing up? Oh no, hold up. All right, I gotta, whoa, oh. Oh, because it froze. Ah, <laughs> it was in the process of freezing. That's why. Awesome. Good start. Good start. <laughs> right off the bat. <laughs> get it out of the way. We'll get it out of the way. Oh, good lord. Okay, that's one thing I didn't expect. It's just not... Not uh, have sound. For no good reason. Alright. Fine, Skyrim. Uh, we'll, we'll play it your way. We'll play it your way. Let's do all the things that you want. Okay, <laughs> last time we explored a lot of uh, the Anniversary Edition content. We did the Sinners and Seducers Part 1, plural. We did Part 1 of each. We got a bunch of new uh, new gear. Um, yep, there we go. There's the seduce, Dark Seducer armor, Dark Seducer boots, gauntlets, helmet, shield, uh, and also weapons. We got the dark bow, dark dagger, dark mace, dark sword. All kind of neat looking. All needs to go into my storage. But first, uh, we are going to sleep because we have a level that we need to claim. Uh, we're going to sleep a full solid seven. <laughs> and uh, yeah. Uh, I guess with my uh, mods, I have it set to, uh, I can only level up when I take a nap. So we're going to do that. Um, I guess stamina. We'll keep pumping into stamina a little bit just to get that at a decent level because we do a lot of blocking and we do a lot of um, power attacks, I guess. So it's helpful to have a good amount of stamina. Uh, ooh, to that point, do we have that already? Okay, no, we have it already. Healing also regenerates stamina. Uh, healing spells cure 50% more. What's this one? Oh, that's just what's recovery. Ooh. Magicka regenerates. That's not bad. We don't really do spell casting as a part of combat. We really just conjure something and it sticks around and helps us. We don't do any spell casting in combat. So that really doesn't help us. Um... What's this one? Ward Absorb. Do we have that? Are we able to get that yet? No. Yes? No. I mean, I can just look at the how much it costs and how much I have. Uh, it requires 60. I only have 45. Cool. Uh, so, eh. Restoration, nothing. Conjuration, we are pretty good along in here. We don't do Atronax, so we don't need Atromancy. We're just, I guess, waiting on this. We're seven points away from Master of Souls. Cool. Uh, and we don't do bound weapons, so we don't really care about that branch of the skill tree. Alchemy, we could always dip into that. Yeah, that's probably at the top of the list to make healing potions. This, this, uh, uh, this, uh, this difficulty is uh, no joke. Uh, 25% more powerful. Potions are 60% stronger. <sighs> I guess we'll just pump, we'll just drop it all in here. We'll just drop it in here. Yeah. Alchemist. Done. And we're only one point away from, from getting it to the next one. <laughs> cool. Uh, alright. Cool. And there's, there's my crew. Everything. Whatever these bugs are. They're, they're part of the, uh, Sinners and Seducers. Um, quest. I don't know. I don't know if they're they're quest followers in particular. Like they, I need them to fulfill the quest, or they're just there. This they're 
And if that's if they're just there, then I'm gonna like ditch them eventually because I really don't see any point. They haven't done anything in combat, like nothing. <laughs> so it's like, uh, all right, you guys can go. You're not really doing anything. Um, garlic bread, cheese wedge, and a whole tomato uncooked. Just gonna eat it like an apple. <laughs> uh, and it'll do a venison chop. There, we're full. Okay, cool. Alright, let's drop off all this armor crap that I got. Is this weapon? Is this my weapon chest? It is. Alright, so we have to get rid of... Uh, we'll ditch the dark arrows for now. The bow, dagger, mace, sword. And we'll throw these in there too, because I don't really need them. And then we'll throw the armor and crap in here. Because I don't really need it right now. And then stuff we're gonna sell, like the necklace, the ring. Um, I that's these are mine <laughs> that I need. Uh, oh wait, necklace of the okay, necklace of wielding that goes in there. That's not mine. Ring of health, ring of mage. Okay, ring of health is not mine. Is also that's okay. That 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 the ring of major wielding, that's mine. Okay. In fact, I should probably go ahead and equip all that <laughs> once I once I teleport back to where we were. All right, cool. Any uh, in, any weird stuff? Yeah, I have some elk hide. We can stash an alembic. I forgot we picked that up. S uh, saber cap pelt, silver ingots. Yeah, those. throw some crap in here. Let's see. Elk hide. Do, do, do. That leather is for making campsites. Troll pelts. All right, we have two silver ingots that we gotta also stash. Look, that's still in here. No, it's over here. I have a system, and <laughs> I stick to it every time I play this game, so I don't forget where I put stuff. There we go. Anytime I get the instant fortress, I, I try to put stuff in the same place every time, so I don't forget. Um, all right, so. Uh, what I need to do is take off my ring of return. Uh, just, you know, swap it out for that. And then put it back on. And it'll take me right back where I was before I teleported to the tower. And we can start in at the next, the next, uh, Sinners and Seducers point of the the adventure whatever this is a weird one i mean there are bandit groups that just have special armor and we found a book that that says that the armor formula or the the the, the designs in the formula is from a, a daedric sort of uh uh armor and weapon uh type so um Oh, wow. Everything's pretty much the way we left it. <laughs> cool. Uh, we already looked in this chest. Oh, there's more boots. Yeah, we don't need more boots. And there's another helmet. Great. Um, yeah, I think we're going to head to the next, uh, next point, which would be... Here, let's show it on the map. Um... Oh, I know where this one is. This one's near... Yeah. Karth Boston. Alright. Alright. Um... Jeez, where are we? <laughs> oh, we're up... Uh, where are we? Wait, where are we? Where's our little marker? We're, like, over here somewhere, right? Oh! Wait. Where is our little marker? Uh, that's not helpful. We're, like, over here? Wait, what's this? Statue to Meridia. Okay. We're... Where's Winterhold? Where is Winterhold? There's Windhelm. We're, like, up here. Ish. Right? I'm all turned around. Oh, wait. That's Solitude. Whoa, okay, no, no, no. Yeah, here we go. <laughs> we 
We are. We're right here. Oh my god. We're so f we're zoomed in so far. Okay. Whoa. Okay. So I think our best bet is to walk to Windhelm and take the carriage to Markarth. All right. That's the plan. That is the plan. I accidentally uh, pressed the fast travel button. It's fine. We're fine. Here's another one of those dudes. He has another mace. Great. Do not care. I am peckish. Well, it's fine. I just ate. I'm not overly concerned with that. I will take this corundum. That's for sure. All right. Yeah, I don't know what these bugs do. They didn't do anything in combat that I noticed. Unless I was too... Well, it could. it's entirely possible that I was too busy paying attention to uh, my situation in combat to notice what the hell they were doing. Ooh. Blue mountain flower. Taking it. All right. So, get to Windhelm. Take the carriage to Markar. That's the plan. We may get attacked by random stuff. Those trees still look weird in the background. <laughs> I do not know how to fix that. Do I just have to turn down my draw distance? Maybe that's it. I don't know. I don't know. All right. Huh. This is bringing back memories. This is where I started this playthrough. The uh, the character was just randomly spawned at the start of this uh, this whole playthrough. Like I think it was like right right over here. With barely anything. That was back the four anniversary edition. There are. Different looking fish in that water. What are those? Whoa, hello. Can I help you, sir? I have to get my uh, mind back into the, the mindset of uh, Skyrim combat and not Breath of the Wild combat. <laughs> I almost hit uh, what would be the, uh, what, the X button on the switch? Get him, Lids. I'm gonna leave him up to you. Uh-oh. Oh, you called down the Seeker. Now it's, now you're done, son. Now you're done. Whoa. Whoa. Whoa, that's a lot of, that's a lot of firepower. All right. Everyone cool? Everyone's cool. All right. With this many followers, you always have to be like, take a second and be like, all right, no one took any friendly fire and has a grudge now and is going to start infighting. <laughs> Whoops, did not mean to take those. Fine, I'll take them. whatever. Um, so, ooh, those are actually kind of neat. Uh, I'll take them. Silver guns, huh? So there's so, like a full suit of silver silver armor. Huh. That's cool. This road looks very weird. There's some sort of texture. Texture hiccup. <laughs> I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's the texture mod that I have or what, but that this looks kind of kind of weird. Um everyone keeping up? Where's Janessa? Uh, well, there's my Draugr way back there. I have no earthly idea where Janessa is. Whatever. Whatever. Goat hide, goat horns, goat leg. All good. Alright. And, uh, just to, uh, for my, for my peace of mind, I'm gonna save it. Uh, 
because as we already experienced this stream right away it's uh, uh skyrim's uh in a mood today apparently almost immediately crashed <laughs> for no reason but i suppose that's what it does that's that's what skyrim do skyrim do really be like that uh i'd like to hire your carriage mark mm, Or I could take it to Falkreath and then take my carriage to Karthwaston directly. But, nah. We can just walk. We can just walk from Arkarth to Karthwaston. <clears throat> oh, oh my gosh, I'm very hungry. All right, uh, food time. Time for food. How about some apple cabbage stew? Some no, raw leg of goat. Mmm. Potato soup. Uh, salmon steak. Uh, and a venison chop. Ooh, just a little bit, a little bit, a little bit more. How about we have a uh, apple? Done. Cool. All right, so we now have so many quest markers on our little compass that I have no earthly idea where anything is. Just going to have to check the map. And it's getting dark, so I should... Oh, oh, oh wait. Okay, okay. Ooh, for a second, I thought it froze. There we go. Oh, there's Janessa. Finally showing up. Silver shield. And off we go. Alright, so. <clears throat> Karth Lawson is this direction. Right? Correct? We keep going this way. Uh, I think. That's what? Kolskagger Mine. And that takes us to the blind cliff. Yes. This is the right direction. Good. Oop. My pop screen. Keep hitting it. Keep hitting my pop screen. Uh, I watched... Uh, <laughs> no, non sequitur. I watched uh, the, the new uh, Peacemaker... Uh, show on Habomax uh, <laughs> uh, the other day. Um, I don't know what DC... I'm, okay, so the second Suicide Squad movie was good. It was fine. It was very good. Um, it was a good movie. I enjoyed it. Um, it did at times feel like it was leaning a little too too hard into the direction of, oh, we're edgy, gritty, uh, we can say whatever we want, you know, show whatever. Um, but I guess if that's what they want to do, fine. <laughs> if it seems like they're really, really trying to lean into the, oh, Deadpool did really well, let's do that. That kind of thing. Um, but it was fine. I, I like the movie. The show is fine, but they're... Again, it's just a little too, I guess, too derivative. Um, but it's still watchable. <laughs> it's, it just feels like the same thing, only now boiled down for uh, a TV. But, I mean, it's still, I mean, it's HBO, so they can still say whatever. Um, and, you know, show whatever. Uh, but... You know, I mean, at a, at a certain point, they need to not rely on shock factor and rely more on the writing <laughs> and the story. Um, that's really cool looking. Um, and maybe, uh, I don't know if they can do that. Uh, that I mean, they haven't proven that yet to me. Um, 
there are certain points where it, it seems like they're giving the character more depth, and that's fine, and that's good, and they should. They should definitely do that. Um, <clears throat> but, I don't know. It's, yeah, I don't know. We'll see. It's only three, we only have three episodes, so we'll see. And, oh, I will say, the intro is awful. <laughs> I hate the intro. I mean, more power to them, and thank you so much for going to all that work and, and doing, I'm not going to spoil it. I don't want to spoil it for anyone. I mean, it's the first thing you see, but I still don't want to spoil it. Um, they put a lot of effort into it, and I applaud them for it. Just please don't do that. <laughs> please don't do that. Uh, it did not feel right or um, natural <laughs> or I don't and it didn't. I don't think it. It at least for me, it did not get the reaction I think they were going for. Oops. No, there we go. Um, so they're right there. Do I have to go up the side of the... Oh, I think I have to... Alright, so we're gonna... Yeah, oh, here it is. This is where you go up. Got it. Alright, I'm gonna save it. And, uh, do it. Do this. Hey guys! Gonna fall back here because we got archers. Whoa! 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 Hey! Whoa! They're all focusing on me! Awesome! <laughs> okay, hopefully I have healing potions because I really need them. Uh, yes. And that is why we upped our alchemy. Because that was a pittance. A, pi a mere pittance of health recovered. Ooh, he's almost dead. And now he's dead. We have matching fighting styles. How's this going to pan out? Well, I have more friends. <laughs> That's how it's going to pan out. Oh, damn! She got yeeted. All right, I'm going to loot while they're all uh, golden dagger. Did we get the dagger yet? I don't think. I don't think we did. We definitely. Ooh, we'll go more hammer. That's new. Uh, that's that. Scroll of Conjure Golden Saint Warrior. What? That's weird. Void Void Essence? What is this? A Watcher's Eye? This is all new, weird stuff. I, I, I almost think this is too much. Too many new ingredients and stuff. Alright, guys. I'll leave that to you. Have fun. I'm going to take out this other archer. What is this bug doing? Alright, here are the bugs. What do they do? They're standing near me. That's it. That's all they're doing. Alright, I need to retreat and heal. So, I'm gonna stand behind... Stand behind him. And, uh... Get to the healing. So we can start the healing process. I can uh, rest assured that they have the matter well in hand. I am a little anxious that they might start uh, taking friendly fire and fighting each other, but uh, that's the risk I just have to take. Yeah, these bugs do nothing. They don't do anything. What is the point? What is the point? All right. Everyone cool? All right. All right. Jeez. Uh, okay. Blister pod cap. That's new. That's also new. Golden arrow, golden bow. Don't have that yet. Golden dagger, gauntlets, helmet, lockpick. Take it. Um, <laughs> seeker just hanging out. 
Uh, okay. Gold necklace. Ooh, potion of extreme healing. I'll take it. Wolf Queen Volume 4. Doesn't do anything. I'll take a tomato. Alright. What do we got? Scroll of Conjure Golden Saint. What is this? Uh, hello. Golden War. Oh, Golden Axe. <laughs> uh, another Soul Tomato? What's a Soul Tomato? What? Is that an ingredient? What is this? Yo, what's up, Sam? How's it going? Uh, we are exploring the Saints and Seducers um, Anniversary Edition shiz. Uh, trying to figure out what the heck uh, Soul Tomato cooked from the heart exactly. It's for soul food, of course. <laughs> of course it's for soul food. Uh, is it in an ingredient? No, it's an actual, it's actually food. Or not. Or it is <laughs> something else. I picked them up. They oh, they're like soul gems? Come on, man. That's unnecessary. That is unnecessary. It's like they were trying to see if they could do it. It's like, can we make it a, like, a, like a tomato? And they did it. They stop didn't stop to ask if they should. Classic, classic problem. Golden arrows. Already got a golden bow. Got all this other stuff already. Oh. Alright. Uh, and a chest. Cool. Alright. That's a pretty straightforward chest. I'll take it. Alright. Cool. I have to read... Uh, ooh, hello. Grondum. I'll take it. So I gotta read the bandit journal. Figure out what else I gotta do. I know where the other camp is, so that 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 I know that we I know we have to do that at least. Shield? Did we get a shield? I think we just did, didn't we? We picked it off of uh, what's her what's her faces faces No, we didn't. Taking the shield. Oh yeah, where did she go? <laughs> she got yeeted off in this direction. Uh. She might be just straight up gone. Uh, she had like all the, all of the things. She had the the armor. She had the shield. She had the. Oops. Uh, huh. I don't know where she went. <laughs> she has my wallet. Yep. She had your wallet. Oh, what's this bust? What is this? That's weird. Okay. Uh, alright. Well. <laughs> Money, golden sword. Do we have a sword yet? I don't know. I'm gonna take it anyway. Um. Where did she go? She went, she went flying off in that direction. Which means she probably rebounded. And, uh fell down here somewhere I mean it's not super crucial to find her but I'd like to and if I do this I run the risk of my followers getting stuck on the terrain so all right oh found her nope that's not her <laughs> Never mind. Why does my shield keep popping into my hand? It's supposed to be on my back. Come on, Nod. It's supposed to work. Alright, she went all the way up in here, maybe? Oh, wow. Oh, well, no. Alright, she's gone. Count our losses. She does not exist. She never existed. <clears throat> cool. Alright, so. Read the journal. Kilton Kinthal's journal. Alright. 
In a, even though we have no long, even though we no longer raid with the black backstabbing seducers, we still work for that wizard Thoron. He's been paying us handsomely to turn over Rasad's caravan, looking for any trinkets that that seem strange. A week ago, we found a sword unlike anything we've ever seen. Thoron's face lit up when we when he saw it. This could be it, he said. I really did he. Whatever. Some, <laughs> I'm doing a voice that's doing a voice. It's fine. He said something about a bridge. He's probably lost it. No sword is worth how much he paid us for it. Won't hear us complaining. Won't hear us complaining though. We see Thorin once a month, so he can have a look at our spoils. Everything he doesn't want, we split and sell, nice and clean. When we're done, he skulks off back to that lair of his in solitude. Uh oh. What he does there is anyone's guess. All right. Nice and sweet. It's two pages. Don't have to read anymore. Going to Solitude. Also, we have that other uh, bandit camp to deal with, which we should. Uh, so, let's see. Um, all right. Uh, that, the Svarig's seducer camp is way up there. Right near where we were. <laughs> <laughs> really? Really? Uh, okay. Well, looks like we're going back to Windhelm. Seriously? Come on. Well, I should have checked them both. And, uh, could have done it a lot more efficiently, but hey, whatever. <laughs> Okie doke. Let's go. Everyone, uh, everyone good? Let's see, we got, we have, uh, what's her face? We have Lydia. I'm right behind Where's you. Vonos? There's Vonos. Okay. So we're good. Vonos, man, we, uh, he's stuck around for the most, uh, the most, uh, streams. He, gee, well, to be fair, we didn't, we didn't stream. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. We lost connection. We lost it. It's fine. So if you're watching this on YouTube, I just lost my, my stream connection on Twitch, um, which sucks. And uh, it's sort of par for the course for Saturday when trying to stream Skyrim. That's uh, two things that happen. Uh, Skyrim crashes and the stream disconnects for no good goddamn reason. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> Aren't you glad you're watching the, the recording? The edited recording uh and not uh and not this live to so that you have to worry about this happening um yeah it's still reconnecting still hasn't reconnected but we are still recording so so there's that <laughs> uh-oh what oh there's forsworn up there that see us apparently uh, and I think we're back. Are we back? We're back. Hey, uh, you didn't miss much. We're still walking down the road. Our our followers all think they uh, think they saw something, which are forsworn up there, and that's fine. We're gonna ignore them, or I'm gonna ignore them, and hope they go away. Yes, we are back. You didn't miss much. We're just walking down the road, <laughs> and me talking about how this happens often on Saturday. <laughs> More often than it should. And it seems to be exclusively Saturday. Odd. I never have this issue on Thursday. Like, ever. <laughs> Whereas on uh, our Skyrim streams on Saturday, it's commonplace. Pretty commonplace. <laughs> what are you gonna do? I've already done what I could do, which was stretch, switch my uh, DNS. Uh, which seems to be better. It's definitely better than it was. Oh my god, before it was horrible. Uh, now it's just mildly annoying. <laughs> and it doesn't happen every stream, so. That's good. At least that's good. Internet bandwidth tanking it from local Xbox frame war. Flame war. Ah. Followers still following? Yep, there's the cultist, Vonos, Lydia, the uh, Janessa. Where's my. Where's my, uh, Draugr, Death Lord? <laughs> I always undercut it. It's a Draugr Death Lord, not just a Draugr. 
not only that, but he has the disarm shout, which is like, like extra. It's like all the bells and whistles. <laughs> he'll 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 catch up. He'll catch. Oh, here comes this, a a an imperial, just running for no reason, and he's going the other direction. Okay, back to this. All right, so we're gonna take our uh, a carriage. We're gonna take a carriage back to Windhelm. <laughs> take care of that. Then walk back to Windhelm. Take the carriage to Solitude. Only thing better than disarming is disliking. <laughs> true. Very true. Or disheading. Disheading is sort of like the, the top. In, in order of in order of goodness, disheading, dislegging, disarm. In the manner of limbs removed. And then below that is anything. In any order. Below, below disarming is anything. In any order. I'm chilly. How am I chilly? Well, that's new. Alright. Huh. Okie doke. Well, um, I'll stand by this fire for a little bit. Did they build that into the into the mod? They did. Look, I'm warm now. I'm get well. Almost. Nope. I, I gotta hit the sweet spot. There's the sweet spot. Now I'm warm. Alright. I feel warmer and am now comfortable. Alright. I am warm. Great. Now I'm gonna take a carriage to a very cold place. Traveling in the reach is dangerous. You need a good carriage. I'd like to hire a carriage. Where do you want to go? Ah, uh, back to Windhelm. Climbing back. We'll be off. Alright. Well, let's do it. So there once was a hero named Ragnar. The red who came riding to right Lurking. Making Japanese. Ooh, nice. Hey. Sounds good. Hey, have fun. <laughs> do, 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 Oh, whoa. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Treacherously cold, and the things are red, and it's frozen. I don't like... I don't like... Are you serious? Oh, Skyrim! Oh, man. <laughs> it's getting to the point where it's not worth it. <laughs> it's getting to that point, folks. Alright, um... I need to check... my magic stuff. And, oh, no, no. I am peckish. Okay. Great. Uh, I don't see Sanguinous Vampirus uh, anywhere. So, I'm assuming we're good. Alright. <clears throat> well, let's do this fight again. <laughs> uh. Hi, guys. And I'm gonna fall back. Get my shield up. Yeah, I'm gonna let, let you guys take care of this. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, after playing Breath of the Wild uh, for so long, I really, really much prefer their combat system. It, it's just the like locking on a, on a target. It's very useful. I'm gonna get rid of that. Stop. Just be dead. There. You're dead. Oh, here's my Draugr. Get him. Get him. Oh, is my, is my weapon out of charges? It certainly is. <laughs> okay. Um... Infighting. There's infighting. Okay. Alright. They're not attacking the cultists. They were just attacking the seeker. That's fine. That, I think, is fine. Uh oh He disarmed him. He disarmed him. Uh-oh. 
And now he's running away. All right, well, he'll come back when he's he'll come back when he's feeling better. Oh, jeez. Well, this one this this fight went a little better. Um Oh, the armored the armored uh, lady was a conjured. That's it. Okay. So that someone cast the spell conjure uh this one. Conjure Golden Saint Warrior. Cool. All right. That's why we couldn't find her. <laughs> Been all that time, like, where is she? She's not here. All right, I'll take some tomatoes. Soul tomatoes. Scrolls. Sure, we'll take the sword. Take whatever's in here. All right. Is the sun coming up or going down? I can't tell. I think it's going down. All right. Where'd you guys kill the... Uh, the last little archer guy. My guess is way down here. Oh, here he is. Uh, okay, got arrows, bow, uh, lockpick. Cool. All right. Well, it went a lot smoother that time and a lot faster. Ay, ay, ay. Uh, there was another bow. Maybe somebody picked it up. I don't know. Anyway. Potion of Extreme Healing, taking it. Yeah, that doesn't do anything. Okay. And I think... Record time. Oh, also the Corundum, sorry. <laughs> We're gonna keep... Take care. Get this. I have no freaking clue what happened with that... Travel to, to Windhelm. Why... Why did the sky turn red? A. Why did everything turn red? I have no idea. No flipping clue. All right. Let's, uh, oops. Ooh, we do have fast healing. And let it pop back up here. I guess if I do get something that recharges my magic quickly, it would be for fast healing. Uh, that is one thing that I would cast in combat. Just because it does what it says it does. This, uh, this other healing is very slow. There we go. All right. All right. Let's do it. Go. Oh, I got to read the thing again. I'm not going to do the voice or anything. Refer to the previous playthrough of this <laughs> to uh, for the uh, the voice and all that fun stuff. Uh, short. Long. Long story short. Going to solitude. Uh, but first, we have to go to Windhelm. Uh, actually, first, we have to save the game. <laughs> Saving it. Thank you. Frickin... Frickin Skyrim. And Ricking Skyrim. Oh, boy. Okay, now we have to make our way back to Markham. It's fine. <clears throat> Trying to make our way through this anniversary edition content so that we can stop playing Skyrim. <laughs> Play some nice, relaxing Tailspire on Saturday that hardly ever crashes, if ever. I don't think I've ever had an issue with, with Tailspire crashing. It's been a while. I need to get. I, we, I, I would like to get back into it. Get back to building some uh, some D and D maps in Tailspire. It's lots of fun. It's a whole lot of fun, and they have a whole lot of new assets, and they have new uh, functionality like um, filters, where you can select an area and and apply filters to it to only show certain things, to only show minis, or only show uh, terrain, or only show objects. I think is the other option, or something like that. But it, it's very cool. It's, it's like it's kind of like a fog of war. Um, so that you can, like, section off parts of the map to only show, uh, only show the map if they have, if your characters, or if the players have line of sight of it, or, uh, don't show anything if they're, if they can't see it at all. It's kind of neat. I like it. 
it's a, it's a fun little, it's a neat thing. They had something like it, but it was a little clunky. I don't know how this one works uh, compared to that one, but I, I'm 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 anxious to test it out. See how it works. Should be pretty cool. Should be pretty dang cool. It looks dang cool. Plus they have um, what is it? New icicle, and they had a whole holiday thing. They have like a red cap and elk, uh, like a weird like snowflake, like a literal like a like a snowflake decoration thing and a bunch of like pine cone and holly decorations and a bunch of like icicle terrain stuff for the uh the winter the winter uh terrain pack which looks pretty cool i'm still waiting for the um the uh custom mini thing that's gonna be great that's just gonna be awesome i mean i'll i i mean i'll pay five dollars a pop for the stls of uh, off of uh Eldritch Foundry. Is it Eldritch Foundry? Uh, no, it's Hero Forge. They went with Hero Forge, didn't they? I think they did. Um, if I'm remembering correctly. Because Eldritch Foundry did all of their minis. Like, all of the all of their, their 3D the design work for all their minis up to that point. And now I think they're going with Hero Forge. I guess they made them a better offer. Um, that's fine. Um, I feel kind of bad for Eldritch Foundry. <laughs> I'll how they missed out were they just were they just unwilling to meet with some of the or maybe they just didn't uh because who approached who who would have who would have approached who would have tailspire have approached one of them or made them like, like who wants to be well i guess yeah because whoever makes the mini stands to make the money right because then you'll have players and and gms just like constantly like make oops oh that's fine new save is fine um, constantly like hopping over there and like making a custom thing and then paying for the, the 3D mini. So yeah, they stand to make money. So I guess they would have approached, they had to bid <laughs> to work with Tailspire on this. Um, and I guess maybe Eldritch Foundry didn't, uh, didn't, didn't got outbidded essentially. In the reach is dangerous. You need a good carriage. Uh, where do you want to go? Oh, uh, <laughs> Windhill. Climbing back and we'll be off. All right. I am going Okay, we just saved it. So, let's hope this doesn't uh, a bit cold for my taste. freak out again. I, I don't know why I freaked out. It's a little weird. A little weird. That did that. <laughs> no freak out. Okay. Oh, that's what it was. It, it did all of the things at once, and it was like, uh, I don't know what to do. So I'm very cold, I'm drained, and I'm hungry. It's fine. So I guess we have to come in here and stay the evening in Windhelm, just so we don't die of exposure. <laughs> Alright, cool. Alright, so that's the first time this, this survival mod has gotten a little harsh. It's like, oh, you need to, you need to stop and take care of yourself, or you will die. All right, that's fine. So let's go into Windhelm. I guess that's what it is. The game couldn't handle all of it at once, and that's what the red was, because it flashes red for a second when you get, uh, I guess, cold or hungry or tired. One of those. But uh, yeah, that's what that was. My phone is blown up. Phone. Whoa, okay, I have so many followers, I was pushed up the stairs. Cool, and I need to get rid of this uh, candlelight. Because it is annoyingly bright. Alright. Alright, okay. So warmer, but still chilly. It's, we're, we're fine. We're, we're fine. Alright. Please approach the counter. Please, ma'am. Ma'am. Oh my god. Please approach the counter. Thank you. I'd like to rent a room. Sure thing. It's yours for a day. Okay. Are you joking? Oops. I hit the wrong thing. Hit the wrong thing. It's fine. I think it's this one, isn't it? I don't know what these bugs are. 
I... Oh, it's that one. All right. Well, that works. Yes, yes, yes. I got it. Uh, eight hours. Eight full hours of sleep. Oh, I am very hungry. And I am stuck. Alright, okay. right, I'm gonna have a seat. Wait for service. Hello? Hello? Can I, uh, can I get some, uh, can I get some service? Anyone? Customer. You got, a, you got a customer here. I'd be out there fighting the Imperials right now if it wasn't. All right, I'll eat my own food, right? Yeah, screw me, right? Okay. <laughs> my own food. Jeez. I'll eat that. I'll have some potato soup. I got plenty of that. I'll have another venison chop. Um, a bunch of cheese, salmon steak. Okay, and. Uh, how about uh apple and some blackbriar mead and I guess another venison chop because I am very hungry. Another salmon steak, another venison chop. Oh my god. Another venison chop. <laughs> another another salmon steak. There. Oh. One more. How about an apple? Done. I, I we're done. We're come on, another apple. All right, now we're done. Jeez. I'm a sailor on the north wind. We're laying over All right, the I need to get out of here. <laughs> There's too much. There's too much in here. Jesus. Okay. Everybody crowd the stairs. Seems like a fire hazard, but whatever. Okay. Okay. Now we can do the other seducers. Seducers, right? Yeah. Because we did both of the the saints things. Oh, pardon me. Was I in your way? Alright. So it's literally in the same area where the other saints or the other seducers uh camp was, which is stupid. It's stupid. The air is chilly here. That's fine. I am wearing... Oh. I'm wearing a cloak. So it should be fine. In theory. I'm packaged. I just ate all of my food. Are you serious? <laughs> uh. With a breakfast like that, you should not... You shouldn't need to eat for the rest of the day. That's like a... That's like a whole day meal <laughs> okay uh oh who's this oh it's these guys what's up guys wait are these oh it's madron what's up dude all right <clears throat> Okie doke. Yeah, excuse me. Ah, I even got to bed early last night. Okie doke. Um... A look at our map. All right, so it's pretty much right across the road, because the other one was like what up here, somewhere. So this one was like just across the. Okay. Couldn't spread those out a little bit. Maybe, maybe put one over by Dawnstar. If you wanted to keep them in the cold area, you gotta put one over by Dawnstar. <laughs> Guess not.
Yeah, I don't know what these bugs are uh, for. <laughs> I'm just gonna... Once this is over, I'm definitely gonna pitch them. I have no use, uh, no use for them at all. They do nothing. They're in the way. And they look weird. That last one isn't really va too valid, but Valid to me. Okay. Yeah, we fought the other one right up there on the other side of that rock. So this one is right up here on the left near the tavern? Oh, yep. There it is. Okay, um, I'm gonna go, oh, they're already, oh, they're fighting a troll. <laughs> nice. Alright, I'm gonna save it. There we go. And, uh, and we'll get involved. Someone there. Whoops, I missed. It's fine, whoops, hit the wrong button. It's fine. <laughs> Oh, I see. It was very dark, so I couldn't... Whoa, okay. I don't know where those came from, but... Uh... Ha 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 ha. Ho ho ho. Ho ho. Uh-oh. Whoa, I am very low on health. Uh, woo! Okay, okay. Um, I need to be in my posh, my potions. How about we take one of these and uh, stream healing and some fortify health. There we go. Alright, bug. Do something if you're gonna do something. Oh, is it zapping him? Oh no, that's the cultist. All right. Okay. Yeah. Okay. We got the ice raid. Got him. Oh, Lydia got him. Never mind. <laughs> okay. Already got the dagger. Oh, dark greatsword. That's new. Uh, gnarl bark. Gnarls, gnarls barkley. What? Uh, scale infant. There's so much. There's too much. W what's this now? <laughs> There's too much. There are too many ingredients. No. Okay. These cannot all have different uh, arrays of effects. They can't. Uh, hey, Lavenza Velvet, what is up? Welcome, welcome. We are playing Skyrim and um, being baffled by some of the some of the stuff in this Anniversary Edition content. Uh, <laughs> fighting our way through these uh, bandits. Dead. All right, cool. Uh, oh, we'll take the arrows. We already have a bow. Uh, I'll take that and that. Take some arrows. All right. Cool, cool. All right. Now we can actually inspect their camp. <laughs> Doing okay. We're uh, we're we're just kind of uh, exploring this uh, anniversary edition Skyrim content um, and being baffled by it a little bit. Carriage drivers. No. Okay. Oh, good. Another thing. Chitin helmet. I don't want a chitin helmet. Uh, what is? I got a Dwemer stuff. Should Dwemer stuff? 
Skelemans. More Dwemer stuff. Alright. Uh, Alright, one thing at a time. I'm not going to worry about that, that note until we finish this quest. Uh, Soul Gem. Soul Gem. More scrolls for conjuring things. Blue Dart Wings. Death Bell. Void Salts. Uh, is that a heart? It is a human heart. Or a Daedra heart. Daedra heart. Didn't want the troll skull. Did not want the troll skull. Oops. Oops! Drop in the co drop in the troll skull. Don't want it. Um draw to the conjurer's draft. Draft of extra magicka. Meh. Ooh, food. I will take food though. Cheese wedge. Barrel is empty. Corundum. Uh another bust. What is this? Whoops. Whoops. Gonna power my way up here. <laughs> Trample everything in my way. Um, Alright. I don't know what this is or who that's supposed to be, but... Sure. Okay. Uh, well, actually, we have to take our first little ad break. <laughs> have a heart. Um, yes, literally. Uh, Danger heart. Uh, we'll be right back. And oh, there's a lockbox over there. We'll see what's in there uh, after this little ad break. Be right back. Hello. We're back. Um, let me unmute this scarium. Bam. And unpause it. We'll get back into the game. Uh, all right. What is in this lockbox? Strong box. Whatever. Whatever you want to call it. It's not locked. Uh, okay, cool. A gem and some money. Sweet. Okay, so that's done. There's a dead goat. We can search the dead goat. Can use every bit of the goat. We use every bit of the animal. Yeah. Like like the Native American. Every part of the buffer, baby. All right. <clears throat> Let's uh, also search this troll and then finish up this sinners and saints and seducers i want to keep on saying sinners and saints it's not it's saints and seducers um quest thing Voila. hello <laughs> we are back um hello lavenza we are let's see um oops didn't mean to do that but that's fine let's see all right see we start accidentally started another thing that's fine it's fine. So <laughs> we have to read. Uh, okay. That's part of this. We have to, to, to do that. So we're going to mark that. We have to read a couple things. So let's do that. Uh, carriage drive. We'll do the... What is this? Svarig Journal. There we go. We continue to do the bidding of Thorun, our wealthy benefactor. Though our relationship has taken a turn for the worse, he still pays us exceedingly well and continues to ask us to pillage and trade, pillage the trade caravans as they pass, searching for anything we can, uh, anything we can find that seems off or has even hints of a hint of magic. Thoron is a powerful conjurer, but also completely insane. He has become increasingly unhappy with our spoils as of late. I suspect that he that the vainglorious saints have done something to gain his favor. We've all become fearful that he might of what fearful of what might happen if we meet him next month and he disapproves of our spoils. If you ask me, all that time he spends hold, hold up in those sewers has finally turned his brain upside down. He seemed to really like those tongs and rusty calipers we brought him a few months back. All we need is to find the right piece of junk that he thinks will help him. Bridge the gap he keeps going on about. And we'll have full coin purses once again. It's been a long time since I've played Skyrim. Yeah, I, uh, I played... I've been playing it for a long time. <laughs> I, I've been playing it for a long time. Um, like, regular Skyrim, non-special edition Skyrim. I have an embarrass embarrassingly large amount of hours... Uh, logged on that game <laughs> and not even on Steam because on Steam it tells you how long you've how, how many hours you've been playing it and I like it's in like triff quadruple digits um sad 
Uh, and that doesn't even count the time I played it on, on PS3, because I had it on PS3 first, and I played it for a bit. And uh, that was a while. Um, I don't even know how long I, I played it on there. But, uh, yeah. Yeah. And I guess it doesn't count, because vanilla Skyrim doesn't count, right? <laughs> the only kind of Skyrim that counts is modded Skyrim, right? Uh, Alright, uh, first things first, saving it. Done. Good. Good. Um, and now we're gonna make our way back to Windhelm, take the carriage to Solitude. Oh, I also have to read the carriage drivers. Uh, okay, we'll read the... we'll do that. Alright. It happened some time after we crossed deeper into the mountains, but I swear I could hear singing. Tuneless, very quiet, but singing nonetheless. No one else believes me, but I'd bet my bottom drake that I had it had something to do with the dwarven machines attacking us last night. I've never heard of these things leaving their ruins, let alone roaming the countryside, going after travelers. It's almost as if they were drawn to the music. Tonight we're handling handing the cargo off to the Sadras caravan, and I say good riddance. But the captain says we're going to eventually circle back to Whiterun, which means we could see the cargo again. If that happens, I'm getting off this caravan. I don't care about the gold. I haven't slept for days, and I feel like I'm losing my mind. Even now, I can hear that awful singing in my head. It just won't. I just want it to stop. All right. Cool. Um. Let's see. Find the second caravan. All right. Well. Still love those ways. <laughs> Thanks. They're very. Oh, I got to return to Rasad. All right. So, I did that for Rasad. I took care of those bandits. So I got to go back to him. Tell him it's done. He'll give me a thing. The offshoot from that. There's two offshoots. This this quest has two branch, like multiple branches. So now I have to go to the Solitude Sewers and uh, take on this conjurer that these bandits have been working for, and I have to go find this other caravan that uh, was mentioned in that note. Give me my best voice. Uh, oh man, I don't even know. I don't know what my best voice is. <laughs> it's all subjective. Um, I have to think. I'll have to think on it for a second. Um, oh, uh, we did uh, Nino Kuni a little while ago, and I guess I get since it's fresh in my mind. I really like doing Drippy, old Drippy. Drippy was fun. Um, oh, I got to get right back in the thing, <clears throat> and I got to clear my throat because it's a difficult one. Ritually, I if you stick by here, man, then uh, we'll be in a right bit of trouble then. I, I guess. <laughs> Something he might say. But, uh, yeah, we're doing, uh, doing that voice every week. Uh, I got okay at it, I guess. <laughs> it's fun to do. It's fun to do. And that's all that matters. Uh, okay, so Solitude... Have we been to Solitude yet? I don't think we have. Oh, wait, no. We have. We have. We've been to Solitude. Someone there. Oh. We have company. Who's this? Who is this? Saints. Oh, they, uh, they're, uh, they're back. Okay. Oh, 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 farmer, please do not get involved. This is, this is, oh no, they killed the farmer. They killed him. All right, well. Well, at least it, he won't become uh, a, a uh, an accidental kill on our side. Oh, 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 gosh. Oh, that was an arrow. I was like, why did I just get a bunch of damage? Okay, I'm gonna fall back so that the rest of my party can uh, help me. Oh God. <laughs> potion time. It's potion time. Okay, uh, fortify health, couple of those, plentiful healing, we'll take that. Alright. Oh god, no! Farmers, please! Please, 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 please do not fight. Alright, and now we take out the archer. Yeah, you're all alone, buddy! Ooh. 
Ooh, right to his face. All right. Whew. Whew. All right. Well, they killed one of those guys. That's sad. But I don't know what all these new these new ingredients are, are or what they're gonna end up doing. Oh, he was a named NPC too. Oh, come on. All right. Well, we'll loot him. <laughs> Oh. Uh, well, there's nothing I can do about that. He's dead. He should have run away. <laughs> oh, man. Hopefully he was not a quest-giving NPC. That would suck. I mean, there's a way I can go I can go into console and bring him back, but Oh, come on. Stop with the stop with the notes. We don't need more notes. We have things to do already. <laughs> Come on. Ugh. Alright, I'm gonna heal myself. And then read this note. See what this uh, quest wants me to do now. Can't wait for them to eventually release Skyrim on the next gen consoles. Again for the hundredth time. Exactly. It's like every time, every time Bethesda's like, can we make a little money? Yeah, let's just really, really Skyrim in some, some way, shape, or form. Ugh. Because I, I bought, I bought it for a PS3. I, I got the, the, the Steam version. I got all the DLCs there too, and the ones on, on, on PS3. Uh, I got um, a special edition then, also, which included all the DLCs, so that wasn't, that wasn't uh, too big of a problem. Um, and then I, I got Anniversary Edition. I also got Skyrim on the Switch, because I was, uh, I was on vacation and I really wanted to play Skyrim. <laughs> and I got it on my Switch, just for fun. Uh, which, uh, which I never play now. I was just like, I, I got it, and I don't really play it anymore on the Switch. Because <laughs> it's vanilla Skyrim. You can't do mods at all. Um, but yeah, that, uh... They really, they're really milking this one. They're milking, uh, and they're getting milk. So hey, more power to them. <laughs> uh, oh, I gotta read that note. Uh, uh the note. Uh, bandit's note on hidden treasure. Is that no? Radical. Wait, what was it? Note on revenge for Kinthal. Senexo, the Red Guard wretch that slew Kinthal, will pay dearly for what he's done by my hand. The scales will be balanced. When I return victorious, there will be no doubt that I should lead the Saints from here on. All right, great. Um, does this mean I'm just gonna get keep getting attacked by the Saints? Cause I could do without that. I already have freaking the 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 freaking Dark Brotherhood after me. I don't and bandits and, and all sort of shit. I don't need. I don't need another thing to be attacking me randomly. Oh, what's the other thing? Uh, the, uh, the, um, the plague ones. The, the plagued ones are the, oh, what are they called? Or, uh, the part of the quest where I got this shield. Um, they, they randomly attack me now. It's, it's rare, but, oh, God. All right. Who are you now? <laughs> Are these just bandits? Who is this? Alright, I'm gonna play it safe and uh, save it. There we go. Hey guys! Are you just regular bandits? Nope! They're seducer bandits. Of course they are. Of course they are. Whoop. Oh, I'm falling back to my, my group. Yep. Ow. Yep. Oh, now you're in trouble, because, uh, now, I got my friends. And dead. And now the archer. It's always an archer. You guys want to help, maybe? What are you doing? 
What are you doing? Alright, well, I'm gonna bring her to you guys, because, uh... Stuck around the corner there. What are you doing? <laughs> yeah, these bugs do nothing. They're just walking around. I have no idea. Yeah, spawning 100 bears. Seems accurate. Oh! 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 Well, we're gonna do that fight again. Yay! Alright, come on you guys. Here, I'm gonna I'm just gonna, I'm gonna do this. Ha ha ha! Light armor? Am I wearing light armor? Or is that a synergy is that a synergy bonus thing? Wow, they really just kinda like destroyed her. Good. Alright. <laughs> Note to self, just wait for my group and they will uh decimate any enemy. Oh no, he summoned the Seeker. That's how you know he means business. Alright, get the archer. Alright, I'm gonna break out my crossbow. Because, uh... They're gonna play it that way. Whoops. There we go. Whoops. Oop, let me get out of your way. Got her. She resisted the paralyzing chain. Oh, miss. Come on, come on. Whoop! Wow, that was that went real wide. Got her. Eh, she keeps resisting. I'm not gonna <laughs> keep trying to paralyze her. It's not working. Uh oh, cool. Got her. Okay. Okay. Cool. Well, they are an endless supply of things that I can sell if I had the inventory space to do it, but we only... We don't have a whole lot of room left. <laughs> it's like, hey, look at all this cool armor shit that I can sell. Uh, if only I had room. Uh, where'd there... Where'd the others go? Oh, here's one. And there's the other. Cool. Alright, that, Dark Sword, we already have, and this guy, and this, Dark War, oh, we don't have that yet, I'll take it, <sighs> same deal on that one, note, note for revenge, they want revenge, they want revenge, she wants revenge, wasn't that a band? That was a band, yeah, she wants revenge, anyway, <laughs> My companions and I have formed a pact to hunt down Sanak Zo, the despicable red god responsible for butchering Svarig. This, this transgression cannot be overlooked. Our honor as seducers demands nothing less than Sanak Zo's head on a pike. Well, they got my, uh, they actually got the, the, the var variable race in their tool, too. That's kind of neat. Because, of course, that's going to vary by player. Um, nice. And, uh, hopefully that's the end of that. <laughs> They tried, they failed. Uh, we can close the book on that, right? They're dead. We're not going to get attacked by any more. Right? Game? I've proven my worth. Okay. <laughs> We're going to... Mm, one thing I should do first is I should drop off all of the stuff I... Ooh, or sell. I could sell. I do have stuff I need to sell. Madron! What's up? Madron. I welcome you, friend. How may I serve you? What have you got for sale? Take a look. Alright, so we are gonna sell to him. He's only got 800 gold. That's fine. Uh I'll sell one of the golden swords. Um already, no, I need the shield. I need most of the stuff that I picked up. Oh, I don't need these. I picked those up by accident. Uh, Alright, so gems, right? Actually, first let's buy from him, because we need stuff. 
We're going to take soul gems. Any and all that have souls in them. Um, and I'm going to get... Oh, also empty petty soul gems and lesser. Do you have any common empty ones? He has one. All right, give those to Lydia. Because she has a sword that traps souls. Uh, oh my god. They've got the weird ingredients now, too. Ogre's teeth? What's this? Steel blue entoloma. What? Okay. Stone flower. Alright, well, I guess I'm buying a bunch of... And they also still have moon sugar. Great. Well, that's what I usually just buy is the moon sugar. But I guess I'm buying this stuff, too. Salt pile. Well, that one I know. Alright. Jeez, that's all, that's all new stuff. Um... Apprentice Robes of Destruction and Alteration? What's this? New dual dual enchantment uh, basic stuff? That's pretty cool. Um, Shield of Resist Magic. Mercenary Gauntlets. Ooh, those are kind of cool. Um, huh. Normally you don't get that enchantment until a certain point in the, in the game in Vanilla Skyrim. <laughs> You have to do a very specific thing to get it. Fishing maps? What? I don't need I don't need that. Um, alright. I it's probably part of the, the other fishing mod that I never use. <laughs> uh alright. Selling these. I'm keeping my alembic. And I'll lose it like uh, what's his face? All the time. I'll lose it all the time. Sell that, sell that. Oh, what am I doing? I'm going to sell him my, my snake oil. No need to sell my valuable gems. I will sell these useless potions that are, for some reason, worth a lot of money. Uh, sell all those. Um, not that one. Oh. Wait a minute. Yep, that's the right thing. That's not. This is. Okay. And... Give him a discount on the last one. All right, cool. May your own lead you to warm sands. And off we go to... Actually, we will do this. We will teleport to our tower. And I have been wearing the wrong equipment. I completely forgot to swap out my equipment. That's my fault. That's my fault. Totally my... Whoops. Totally my fault. So we were playing it on hard mode. Hard, hard, hard mode. Uh, sell everything. Yeah, right. God, I worked I worked hard to get some of this stuff. I'm not selling everything. <laughs> okay. There we go. Now I have stuff to put away, and I can put it away in my storage here. Let's see. Uh, oh, this is our weapon thing. So weapon, weapon, weapon... Weapon, 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 weapon. Oh. Armor. We will put golden saint shield in there. This gold necklace that we're not going to bother with. And silver gauntlets. And that's it for that. All right. And I think we have some corundum that you picked up? I think so. Yep. Bunch of corundum more. Um, anything else? We have goat horns. Steel ingot. That'll go in there. That's fine. Winter troll pelt. Throw that in here. There we go. Any other? Uh, yeah, goat horns, goat hide. Those can go in there as well. Where is it? Where's where it is? Okay. And, um,. Sure, I have a bunch of ingredients that I need to drop off, but that's strictly necessary right now. Oh, gems! I can throw in my vault. Boop, 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 boop. All right. That away. Those that. Sa rubies and sapphire. Whoa. Usual gem. No. Okay. Good. Thumbs up. Close that. That. All right. Uh, I do have a crap load of books 
that I can uh, put away. Um, actual books. A lot of these are just notes. Radical thoughts. What is this? Uh, all right, just a thing. All right, <laughs> not too. Joftin's notes, Jonquil's notes, Kinthal journal. Okay, apparently it's still a quest item. Necromancer's journal. Um, Rin's journal. Okay, Saints and Seducers. Saint. Okay, that's still still quest items. Fine. Song of the Alchemist keeping because that is a quest item that we can use later. I'm gonna put that on the thing. Still a quest item. Oh my good. Okay. Bunch of books on the shelf. Excellent. Good news. The onions and pork are cooking. Nice. Nice. Uh, books are very helpful. I should know. I always carry them. <laughs> uh, bad news. Forgot to wear goggles. Uh oh. <laughs> yeah, cooking onions without a without goggles or a, a can. If you light a candle nearby, I, I hear sometimes that helps. Um, anonymous letter we can put away. Azadi's note. Keeping that. Carriage driver's note. Nope. Dinner invitation? Nope. Uh, so many, so many uh, quest items that I, I just. Uh, okay, I need that. Get put that away. Note from course put away. Those I can put away. Notes from the blacksmith put away. I gotta go back to Rasad, so I need that. All right. Stranger's plea. Okay. Uh, torn page. Cool. And Warrior's Challenge. All right, wow, we cleared out a lot of that. There was so much in there. Um, all right, all right, work, that works. And we are in Whiterun now, because that is where our tower is. Um, so we are going to double check our inventory here. Uh, oh, wow, we dropped a lot. Four down to 465 uh, in carry weight. Uh, I'm sure we have a bunch bunch of ingredients to drop off uh, but we'll do that in between streams because it's long and boring <laughs> so we're just gonna go outside and talk to Rasad. hopefully he's here uh, if not well if not I don't know <laughs> we can try going to Markarth again and see if he's there And we're in right we're in right run. White run. Like, oh he is here. Awesome. I can see that. White run. White run. White run. White run. Alright, there's your sod. This one needs something? I've taken care of the saints and seducers. Excellent. And now please accept this token of appreciation. 300 gold. Woo. <laughs> All right. I hope that you will come to do business with us again. Oh, actually, um, he probably has a bunch of uh, Take a look. A bunch of ingredients and stuff. Let's see. Yep. Light litcher. What the f A pile of yellow poopy? Okay, I'll buy it. What slowed soap? What is this? It's too much. It's too much stuff. Yeah, there's too much stuff. Oh jeez. All right. Well, it looks like I'm gonna be experimenting at the at the alchemy table for a little bit. <laughs> Some stale liquor. <laughs> uh. Uh. Here you go. Get one at a discount. Beautiful. May the sun keep you warm. Yeah, I don't know what these bugs are. I am thoroughly confused. Uh, I need to cook. So, do you have a cook pot on your fire? You don't. I do need to. Actually, I can just go into my tower and cook stuff. Let's do that. Yeah, I have a lot of raw food on me that I need to cook. And I can probably pick up some food I have in storage. And hopefully, oh, no, they're blocking. They're, they're blocking the way. Excuse me. 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 Thank you. 
They move eventually. Ugh. All right. Cooking. Whoa. Cooking, cooking, cooking. There it is. All right. Uh, cooked juvenile mud crab. Oh, a whole mud crab. Uh, we'll do legs of roast goat. We'll do a couple of potato soups. We'll do salmon steak. And sure. Actually, you know what? I'm going to do this. I'm going to put the juvenile mud crab here on the table because it's neat. <laughs> Where is it? Juvenile. Oh, wait. Is that an ingredient? I think it is an ingredient. Wait. Well, I guess, yeah, you can use salt pile. Yeah, yeah, there it is. Juvenile mud crab. Boop. Right on the table. I'm going to put them here in this bowl. Whoops. Or just knock the bowl on the floor. That works, too. There we go. <laughs> One of those two things. Whoops. Picked up the bowl. Didn't want to pick up the bowl. Ah. Oh, Skyrim. Oh, Skyrim. You... You've bested me this day. Done. Alright. <laughs> Enough mucking around with that. Alright, what do I have in storage? Not a whole lot. Uh, I'll take that, though. And that. And that. And that. Okay. Alrighty. Um, did I cook everything in my inventory that can be cooked? Apparently, I didn't get any other options. So, yeah, so I'm guessing this crab meat is cooked. So, great. Uh, who needs shots when you can lick, uh, can lick to get hammered? Yeah, exactly. Ugh. Alright, off we go. So we're going to take the carriage to Solitude. Uh, save it. Definitely save it. All right. Need a ride? I'd like to hire your carriage. Where do you want to go? Solitude. Climb and back and we'll be off. All right. Uh, yeah, the, <laughs> the zombies. I can't wait yeah. Forever. That's the that's the downside of having uh, uh the the necromancer, uh, <laughs> uh, uh, what is it? Uh, click. It's all the zombies. If you have nothing but zombies, it's just an endless chorus of that. But, uh, luckily I only have two. <laughs> two zombos. I've got your back. Oh, oh, good. I'm hungry again. Well, I planned ahead. I brought a bunch of food. Cabbage soup. We'll have a venison chop. We'll have a seared slaughterfish. And a potato soup. And we're fine. Okay. Uh, where's candlelight? Candlelight, 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 candlelight. There it is. Careful not to talk anything important. Alright, calm down. Uh, oh, I was like, who's coming up there? Oh, it's uh, the rest of my group. Uh, I forget that they, they spawn, like, a mile from me every time I, I travel somewhere or leave a building. Um, alright. Uh, I need to... I need to find out where this is. Okay. Uh, okay. Is it outside... It's outside of Solitude? Right. I guess I'm gonna... Follow the marker? Is it in? I think it might be. Oh, Dwarf me, is it not? But yet it seems so much more. Yeah, it's pretty good. <laughs> Alright, I think I have to be in the uh I think I have to be in in the wall within the walls of the city. Oh. Hmm. Yeah, it looks like that's in... In the city. Inside the walls. Alright. 
I hope this doesn't uh, contradict or uh, clash with the uh, Sewers of Skyrim mod that I have. <laughs> Could be a problem. Ooh, we might we might see a, a, a on-stream battle of the mods. Yes, so long. Uh, oh, you, everybody needs to move. <laughs> okay, there we go. Jeez, I need to get rid of these bugs. We're at critical critical capacity. Oh, it's just this right here. Oh, do you see that weird scanning? Uh, what is going on there? <laughs> what is going on there? Whoa. Okay. Weird. Okay. Let's see how this works. I am detected. Alright. By a Draugr. A... Oh, no. That's fine. It's just... It's just... Skeevers. Alright. Hopefully this is the right sewer. Um... We... S that was weird. The way that the... The... The man... The man... The uh, sewer cover changed as we walked over it. As our cursor moved over it, it changed. I don't know if that's... Uh, a good sign or a, bad, a sign that we're not going to be able to... Uh, do... Uh-oh. Oh, it's right above us. Okay. Um... Stairs, I guess. Looking for stairs. All right, so we're looking for <clears throat> a conjurer. All right, we're going down. That's the opposite. That's the opposite direction of where we need to be going. Right, well, oops, me. Or is it that? The quest marker is still up there because... Huh. <laughs> this is the wrong sewer. Huh. Alright, that takes us back above ground. Alright. Oh, excuse me. Oh, this is... This is just... Oh, no. <laughs> okay, you need to... You guys need to move. You guys need to move. Okay, thank you. At least they move. <laughs> At least they get out of your way. know that this is uh hmm I will hit I'll, I'll I guess we'll just check the map that's the best we, the only thing we can do whoa oh hello hello mr bandit and he's dead <laughs> cool all right let's check the map uh whoa uh, all right, I need to go into. Uh, hold on. <laughs> In the interest of, uh, let's uh, turn all these off. There. Okay. Now. Where? Oh, hey, the shield. Free shield. Um. All right. Let's see. Map. Investigate Salted Sewers. Find Second Caravan. Right. We're in the Salted Sewers. Hmm. Interesting. Um. Huh. <laughs> uh. Yeah. This is the sewer, but this is from the Sewers of Skyrim mod. Not from uh, that event, the uh, the quest that I was currently doing. Hmm. This is interesting. Hmm. 
Ow. Alright, I... Ay, ay, ay. I... <laughs> am having my doubts that, uh... Now it works. Um... Alright. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> let's see. Um, let's see. Is it showing up on the? Uh, uh, uh. Oh, nope. That's the exit. All right. I think that's how it's spelled. Yes. <laughs> uh, we got mud crabs. We got mud crabs. And we got dead mud crab. And slaughterfish. Oh, hello. Alright, thugs. Who's this now? Is this the is this part of the uh the uh, thing I'm doing? It's a hired thug of the conjurer? Whoops. Ooh, disarm. And the slaughterfish gets <laughs> And the slaughterfish is getting <laughs> Um oh, oh hey, perfect. She jumped right in the boat. <laughs> oh Jesus. Alright. Uh hired thug for who? Yeah, this is I don't know. I don't know what I'm grab me. Uh, yeah, okay. Nope, oh, something's in there. Oh, it's in the street. And... Whoops. Okay. Alright, so now we're in the canal works. Which is a... Just a... A, a labyrinth of... This stuff. Uh, gotta go. Sorry, couldn't stay long. I uh, got stuff to do. Hey, you too. Have fun. Um, and uh, hope you have hope you have a good Saturday. We'll be back on Thursday with more Breath of the Wild. Yeah, hopefully this uh, this uh, mod contradiction doesn't uh, screw me on trying to get this uh, quest finished. <laughs> Cause uh, this is not looking like. Uh, the right sewer. Because this is definitely from the Sewers of Skyrim mod, which is completely different huh? than the Saints and Seducers thing. So we'll see. <laughs> we shall see. Alright. Uh, I'm going to heal up a bit, too, because... It will hurt. It will hurt. I know one of these doors has uh, cultists of, uh, I want to say Vermina, or Molek Ball, probably. Don't want another five groundhog tic tac. Exactly. Good God. I have been saving judiciously. Just, just save it every opportunity I get. Uh. What's that? Where am I now? Okay. <laughs> I'm here now. Oh, wait, this is where we came from. All right, all right, all right. All right, I'm going to I'm going to exit the sewer cuz it's it's looking more and more Okay, yeah, good. This is exactly where we were. We're going to go back this way and just freaking leave cuz uh I think me thinks <laughs> that uh this is uh wrong. Is everybody? Okay. That is everybody? Nope. Cultist isn't there. Where's the cultist? I don't know. I I don't know. <laughs> we may we may lose uh, a zombie or two in this process. Oh. Oh. Hold up. Ah. 
Aha! Aha! Hello, Mr. Uh, hanging out in the sewer. What's up? Oh! Oh. It's the winking skeever. <laughs> it's not. Alright. Oh, fuck. Oh, this is good. This this is cozy. Um. <laughs> um. Move. Everybody needs to move, please. Oh, my God. Okay. And we did lose our cultist. He's gone, apparently. All right. All right. Okay. <laughs> Come on. Move. Please move. Oh. It's going to force me to... All right. I think we're at the point where we need to lay him to rest. As much as I like having Draugr Death Lord, we are very stuck here. Um... Yeah, so we're gonna go back in the sewer. Or actually, I can just go on the other side of him and bring him back. There we go. That works. Good lord. And he's back. Okay. So. Go back down here. And there's that dude again. All right. What huh. do you need? Okay, this goes up. Great. There's the dog. There's a doggo. What's up, doggo? Hey, what's up, pupper? Uh, stack of flour. Some goop. Don't want no goop. And this, which goes to Castle Dower Dungeon. Okay. I guess that lines up. <laughs> uh, all these freaking bugs. They gotta move. Please move, bug. And now the dog. Now we have the dog in the way. Uh, please move, bug. Okay. We're good. Yes. Alright. Uh, I'm going back to the street. I, I am fairly certain that we lost our uh, cultist somewhere in the, that, that madness. I am not about to go looking for him. His, his presence will be missed. Uh, yeah, he's gone. <laughs> Alright, so... Okay, so that's... Still... Still that. I don't... Because if I go into the sewer, it's going to tell me that the quest marker is... I'm right behind you. Outside of the sewer. If I'm outside of the sewer, it's going to tell me the quest marker is inside the sewer. It's not... Uh, it is a no-win situation. And you can see, as the as my cursor goes over it, it just changes. I'm right behind you. So, do I need to disable Sewers of Skyrim? In order to do this quest, I think I do, and I don't want to, <laughs> I don't want to do it because it's a pain in the butt. Oh boy, oh boy. Yeah, you can clearly see that that is uh, transitioning from one to the other. That's bizarre. Okay. Um, let's do a different thing. <laughs> let's go find the the second caravan. Jeez. Um, and also we have this attend the banquet feast. Sure. Yeah, I'm, I'm ignoring the, uh, find more details on the bandit's lead. I'm, I'm ignoring for the most part all of the other like, non-anniversary edition content, just because there's no real point. We've done it before. We've done it before. So, I can turn that off. I can turn that off. What is this? Bandits. Okay, we'll show the world map. What? Alright. 
Um, yeah, so uh, I'm gonna, yeah, I gotta turn this quest marker off. Because it is not, it's uh, not doable until I, until I disable sewers of, sewers of Skyrim. Um, then I'll be able to do it. All right, so. We lost our uh, cultist, which kind of sucks, but eh, it's fine. Vonos is a good spellcaster, and uh, the Seeker kept causing issues every time he summoned it, so. There is a little bit of an upside to, to losing him. All right, so let's take the caravan. I don't even know. Maybe we should just teleport back to the... Teleport back to the tower. Let's see, where's the... What the... What is it giving me for this? Where do I need to be? Oh! Okay. So, that is actually near Whiterun. Alright. Then we will, uh, we'll tower it up. We'll, uh... Go to the tower. Okay. And, yep, Cultist is gone. Alright, so I need to do this, and it might bite me in the butt. However, it must be done. Uh, so, Dispel Magic Personal. If they turn into Ash, then... Oh! Okay, that was not what that spell was supposed to look like, but, uh, whatever, I guess. Um, okay, <laughs> weird. Let's see, uh, what do we want? Stone flesh again, first, okay, and dread zombies. Bring him back. And let's wait for that to, whoops, 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 wait for my Magicka to recharge a little bit. Go on, recharge, go on, keep a recharging. But yeah, um, the, the cultist was really cool, he was a good, good spellcaster, but, eh. It's fine. We still got Vonos, who is uh, extremely deadly, <laughs> and our uh, our uh, Death Lord. Um, actually, you know what? Hmm. He's got a silver silver great sword. All right. I'll figure this out in the in between um, while you guys enjoy an ad break. Uh, <laughs> we'll be uh, right back with some more uh, fumbling around in Skyrim Anniversary Edition. Stay tuned for more of that. Still here. BRB. Hey, we're back. I'm gonna unmute Skyrim and also unpause it. Hmm. There we go. All right, I did a couple things in the interim. I gave the Draugr a better sword. I gave him the Dark Great Sword that we just got. Uh, after I took it to the the grindstone for a bit, improved it just a touch. Um, I also took these bugs and told them to stay here in the tower. I literally have that option when you talk to them. It says, stay here. You can select, stay here. This is your new home. So that's done. I didn't get rid of them outright. They're just here. They're just, they'll just be here. And that's fine. They're not in the way in combat. Or I'm trying to move around. I'm happy with that. Cool. So uh, we're back on Whiterun. That's perfect. I will make sure to re-equip my good ring <laughs> so, and my good necklace. There we go. So I'm not uh, suboptimal in my combat situations. <clears throat> and uh, let's uh, go look for this caravan. The uh, the conjurer is going to have to wait until probably yes. next uh, next session, next week, next stream session. That's a D and D term. <laughs> uh, when we can uh, have time to disable our sewers of Skyrim mod. So that we can actually complete that quest. Uh, I knew it was going to be an issue. I knew it was going to be an issue. It's at Sewers of Solitude. It's like, uh, 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 uh. 
not bad. That was like right before I, right before I tra fast traveled to the tower. I'll just have to do all the things I did off screen, on screen. <laughs> Great. Okay. Uh, uh huh. Okay. Okay. Oops. Where is it? Oh. Do that. There we go. Oh, Skyrim, you so buggy. All right. Let's turn off candlelight. Let us dispel magic. I could have just dispelled magic personal and taken care of that, but whatever. Dispel magic per. Wait. Make sure Vonos is here. Where's Vonos? Vonos is uh. Straight up gone now. Alright, you know what? He's gone. Fine. <laughs> Vonos is gone. That's how it is. And that is how it's gonna be. It's sad, but you know what? See here, yeah, look. Um, you, oh, actually, uh, yeah, you have a couple... Uh, let's harvest Venom. Oh, you can tell him to help you in battle? What? That's... You can have him carry stuff? Alright, that's interesting. Um, I'd like you to stay here in the fortress, uh, be my guest, of course. Okay. Uh, all right. And then I'd like you to stay here in the fortress as one of my guests. Perfect. All right. And they're going to just go off and do their thing, right? Oh, well, that looks like a... That looks like that could be an in, an, an issue. <laughs> Can't get up the steps. Whoo, baby. All right. Oh, there he goes. He made it. All right. <sighs> Take this off. <laughs> Gonna throw it here and store it. Oh, didn't want to do that. Fine. Throw it in here. Orphan gauntlets. Open this. Throw in the golden arrow and the silver greatsword. Take out the dark greatsword. Grab some quicksilver. Just one. We're going to put on our necklace of smithing and drink our blacksmith's potion. And then improve the dark greatsword. Dunzo. Then we go and put it on the corpse of the Draugr. Whoop. There we go. Dark Great Sword. Done. And, uh... Whoop. No, 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 no. Uh, magic. There we go. Dread Zombie. Done. Cool. And we're set. Alright, I don't know where Vonos is, I don't know where the cultist, are, cultist is, but they're no longer under my control, they're just corpses. <laughs> Somewhere. <laughs> That's fine. Ugh. Okay. Uh, another thing I was going to do, I have to give Lydia a bunch of arrows. Um, da -da 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 steel arrows. Boom. And Lydia. Lydia. Right Lydia. Back. Hello. Back. Need to trade some things with you. I am sworn to carry your burdens. Yes, you are. Okay. And give her arrows. Done. Let's get going then. All right. I would give things to Janessa, but she's bugged out in a way that prevents me from doing so. So, oh well. So where'd those bugs go? Do they just go somewhere? Do they go to, to a room? I'm interested because they're operating like NPCs, not like pets. Yep, there they went to the yep, one sitting in bed. <laughs> Slanted in bed. They're the one standing next to their bed. Okay. Well, I guess they claimed those beds. That's fine. <laughs> Interesting. Alrighty. Well, off we go.
I am going to... You know what? I'm going to save it right here. There we go. Okay. Ugh. Yeesh. Still here. Yes, you are, Lydia, and I appreciate you. Alright, candlelight. Boom. Back to my shield. Boom. Okay. Let's go. Make sure everybody's keeping up. So we have Janessa, Lydia, and the Draugr. That's all I got. The Draugr is very slow, but he's coming. There you go. Got a spiffy new sword. So that should be really cool. I really, I probably should put an enchantment on it, but uh, hmm. I don't know. We'll, 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 we'll do that maybe later if we finish this, uh, this quest. Maybe we'll wrap up the stream with that. We'll put an enchantment on the Draugr's sword. Let's see what we have in our repertoire <clears throat> to make him extra nasty. I know we have Paralyze. <laughs> that would be pretty bad. That would be pretty bad. But, but, we would have to constantly be charging it back up, which is which would be a whole process. So I don't even know if that's worth it. <clears throat> Probably try and find like a the Silent Moons enchantment, which is usually pretty low maintenance. It doesn't. Whoa. Hello. <laughs> he kind of appeared out of nowhere. Um, let's see. Uh, okay, so it's just, what's this? Tundra Homestead. That's new. Uh, okay. Huh. Interesting. Oh, you can see it from here. What the hell? I guess that's Anniversary Edition content. <laughs> oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. Well, we'll go ahead and tick it off, because it's on the way. Tick it off the list, because it's on the way to what we're doing. I might have to close my curtains here in a second, because the sun is just about to hit my webcam. <laughs> like, full-on straight, which is definitely going to affect the way, affect performance. Alright, Tundra Homestead. This is spiffy. It's got... A stable, it's got a workstation, it's got this neat little whatever. <laughs> and there's a note on the door. Homestead for sale. This home and its surrounding environs is available for purchase. I have had many cherished adventures in Skyrim, but now I'm afraid I must leave it behind. The war has made life difficult on all of us, and I fear the worst is yet to come. I have entrusted the steward in Dragon's Reach with managing the sale of my homestead. If interested, please seek him out. Alright. Um, it requires a key. Alright, so... Uh, uh, hi, Janessa. <laughs> hey, but you know what? That means that all this... I can use all of this without having to buy it. I no longer have to go inside Whiterun to access... Hey, and free goat horns, I'll take it. Uh, to access uh, these amenities, I can just come over here and use it. And actually store stuff in that, if I need to. Eating curry! Hell yeah! And uh, a bunch of free stuff. Sweet! There's a bunch of free stuff. <laughs> we found free stuff, Sam. Uh, it's a, it's a, a, a player homestead mod, which adds this... Uh, this nice spiffy looking player home just outside of Whiterun. Um, and you're supposed to go and buy it from the steward of Whiterun. But whoever designed it put all of this outside. So I can just come and use this anytime I want. <laughs> for free. It also had a bunch of like uh, uh, materials in this chest for free that I can just take. Uh, barrel stuff? Is there stuff in the barrels? Barrels are empty. Sacks? Anything in the sack? Ooh, ooh. Carrots and tomatoes. Free food. Uh, sacks of flour, not so useful. Great. All right. I'm right behind you. <laughs> yeah, whoever made this didn't really. I don't think they really thought about that. Which, eh, it's fine. 
That, that, that's fine. Free corundum right here. Sweet! Yeah, that really affects early gameplay. Because normally you have to, like, scrimp and save to get a place to uh, store, even just store things. Um, at least, you know, traditionally in vanilla Skyrim, you just, you, you keep accumulating stuff until you get to a point where it's like, I really need a place where I can put all my stuff. I need to, like, buy a house or start building a house or something like that. And this is just like, oh, I'll just stick it in this chest that, in this abandoned house. <laughs> Easy. Done. Uh-oh, who's this? Oh, oh, there's a floating, floating deer. And he's down again. Uh, this looks like, uh, oh, it's a zombie horde. It's a zombie horde. That's exactly what it is. This is going to be a little more interesting now that we have fewer, fewer party members. Okay. Oh, that zombie's almost dead. Oh, that zombie is dead. I take it back. Oh, okay. These guys are... Oh, okay. Those were just the blow zombies. I get it. I get it now. Those were just the, uh, the blow guys. Whoa! Ow. Ow. Where is my Draugr? He's supposed to be helping. I am hurt. Uh, Alright. Oh, I only have one, one of those, huh? Great. How about... I, ooh, I have a couple potions. Oh, vigorous heal. Take that. There we go. Ow. Jeez, it hurts me even if I block. I guess I have to. Oh, there he is. There's my Draugr. And get you out of here. There we go. Now I can heal up a little bit. Uh, we'll do fast. I'm going to pull one of them. Maybe two. Ooh. There we go. Nice. Oh yeah, I have more ma I have more magic at my disposal. Uh yes, that is a lot of zombies. That is a zombie uh horde. Classic traditional. Good old classic zombie horde. Alright, we're all gonna focus on one zombie. Or not. Ooh, disarmed a zombie. Disarmed many of the. Oh, look at all the. Look at all the weapons on the ground. Oh man, MVP, MVP, Draugr. Let's see you do that, zombies. Whoa, hello. Where'd you come from? What the frick? You're now adding. You're now adding more zombies. Game, come on. And I guess they can pick their pick their weapons up. Fair enough. Keep wailing. Actually, you know what? You get a good angle. Ooh. Ooh. Double shout. Oh, this is the this is the leader, it looks like. Called the Dread Zombie. Okay, well. This is certainly a slog. Ow. Oof. Oof, oof, oof. These things are uh, difficult. <laughs> Ow. Oof. Starting to get hurt. Starting to not like this. Just gonna go one for one. of disruption. Oh. That's right. You've been turned, fool. And I'm going to track you down. Smash your scars. Run away. Bam, bam. And bam. All right. 
Yep. <laughs> He's hiding behind the... He's like, oh god! Oh no! Oh jeez, man! encounters let me let me tell you jeez uh owned silver longsword no thank you no thank you well we know they all have that mort flesh whatever that oh here comes the sun the sun is literally <laughs> hitting <laughs> all right i'll be right back oh, oh one uno momento Fixed it. All right. <laughs> More flesh. More flesh. More flesh. Um, yeah, I guess I'll take the arrows too. If they have any. Cool. And a pile of ashes. <laughs> awesome. All right. Uh, Cool. Anyone else hurt? Actually, I have healing hands. Okay. You alright? Good? Everyone good? Alright. Cool. No character model mods. Good news. Oh, sorry. Uh, got curious and searched something. Good news. The only Among Us mods are sounds and background. No character models mods. Yeah, that's... uh. It wouldn't surprise. I will say, if there were one, it wouldn't surprise me. There are a lot of weird mods out there, but uh, yeah, there's um, there's a there's a new uh, Among Us uh, sprite that's going to come to um, uh, Samurai. Uh, oh my God, I'm blanking on the name. Sa uh, <laughs> uh, God, the Samurai game. But uh, yeah, they're adding an Among Us sprite to that I saw. So that'll be cool. I was kind of hoping that you can just say Fus Fusruda. <laughs> sure. That would be fun. <laughs> uh, Alright. Uh, first things first. Saving it. Because as we have experienced, we will fight a horde of zombies, get a little bit further into the game, and then the game will crash. It likes to do that. It's one of its favorite things to do. Ugh. And now it looks like that her uh still here. Oh, there it goes. Is it just gonna is it just gonna Nope. Her uh her little caption there is stuck on the screen. <laughs> Janessa's caption. Awesome. Is Janessa just straight up bugged? Is she causing all the issues? She might be. She might be. I might have to dismiss her and find a different follower. All right, where are we? Where are we going? It's, it's this one over here. Okay. So it's. Let me check my map real quick. It's off the road. Um, is it? That's that's giant territory. Uh, at least she's being nice and asking if we need something. Yes, exactly. <laughs> yep. Oh, there's Cicero. All right. Well, don't need to don't need to deal with Cicero right now. You got bigger issues. Not saying take your attitude and show it to the mud crabs. Exactly. Oh, yep. Giant. There's a giant. We're gonna sheathe our weapon and uh, proceed with caution. Uh we could try and kill it and get a get a giant zombie because we know how much fun that was. 
But I think unless at least... Oh my god, we're gonna have to. We have to. We absolutely have to because it's... it's okay. Yep, no, nope, that's part of the quest. Alright. Unless he's just moving through. Is he just walking... Are he walking by? Oh. Uh. uh Whoa, wait, what? What? I don't see any red dots. What's going on? What's going on? <laughs> oh, is our... Oh. He was fighting something over there. Got it. Okay. Fine. Alright, yeah, the giant was just passing through. Good. Oh, thank God. Alright. Uh, CD guards note. A couple gold. Whatever's in this chest. Corundum, garnet, sure. And, uh, longbow. Great. I don't like that you can't uh, loot these, um, Dwemer. Oh, I'll take. Ooh, a bunch of Dwemer bolts. Hell yeah. Take those. Need them. I need them. Um, yeah, I don't like that you can't loot these, uh, Dwemer automatons. That uh, would have been a nice little touch, but uh, whatever. <laughs> whatever, man. I guess they're intact, and that's not typically how they appear when they're defeated, for the most part. I don't know. Um, okay. So, I have another note. <laughs> Yet another, another note to read. Uh, CD guard's note. Oops. Wrong button. There we go. Read the you know, find evidence of the caravan of the caravans in White Run. Telvani handed the cargo off to us at the checkpoint. They seemed a bit on edge, but they aren't sharing details exactly. Just that they were attacked by dwarven machines, a bunch of useless fetchers, all of them. We also had a surprise visit from the Hlaun caravan. The whole crew ha was a bunch of was an odd bunch, more scholars and farmers and warriors, I'd say, but a few were just my type. I tried to chat it up with a fetching raven-haired girl, but she kept those sultry eyes fixed on the cargo as it changed hands. In any case, the main package is secured, but there's fear it was damaged during transport. Oddly, the Hlan captain didn't seem too concerned by it. about it. He and the boss talked for a bit by themselves. I tried my luck with the raven-haired tart once more. She told me her name was Vel... Vel... Velin... Velin... She asked whether Captain Inodes, Inodes, Captain Inodes, 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 Inodes nuts, Inodes, would be at the next checkpoint. I told her no, but the truth is I didn't even know. I don't know why she cared anyway. Their cargo is a decoy. The real package is going to Indoril uh, at the next stop. That uh, Once that's delivered, I'm hearing we might stop for a day or two in Whiterun to get our bearings. The captain of the Indoril caravan is a Nord, and he mentioned heading over the Hall of the Dead to pay his respects. That's fine, I'll be paying mine at the tavern. Hopefully I'll get a chance to buy sweet little Veline a drink. Okay. Fine. Uh, uh, what happened? We were fighting something. Well, then tell me what happened. Like I said, we were not fighting something. It's... Dead, don't worry. <laughs> First D&D <D> party. <laughs> oh. Nice. Uh, do we? Hold up. Whoop. We didn't read this one. Bandit's note on hidden treasure. Okay, okay, okay. Bandit's notes on hidden treasure. Um, Crystal Drift Cave. An exotic treasure said to be hidden in Crystal Drift Cave. Heard from the coinless trader trying to save his own skin. Going to send a few uh, to see... If the story checks out, if the story is true, we need to be sure Saint the saints don't find it first. Our benefactor will be bleed. Okay. Great. Um, I guess we're gonna... No. Uh... Find evidence. Yeah, okay. So where, where are we going? Okay, we're going... Oh, into White Run. Cool. Okay. <laughs> we can do that. Make sure there are no giants around as I draw my weapon. Okay, cool. Alright, yeah. Oop. Move that a little 
bit. Uh, once we get to the point where there are guards walking around, the need for the weapons isn't as much. Or as high. Although bandits do like to attack that uh, outpost a lot. <clears throat> Alright. Everyone here? We got our... And where's our Draugr? There he's bringing up the rear there. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> Okie doke. So we'll check on uh, this caravan thing. Which, uh... <laughs> I don't know. This is a lot of running around with, with very little payoff, in my opinion. Oh, I need to eat some too. Uh, apple cabbage stew. Okay, well, we're done. Hopefully we don't get uh, ambushed by the zombie horde again. I am now slightly tired, too. Great. That's great. Perfect. Running around with very little payoff. High school track and field day in a nutshell. Yeah. Sounds about right. So, once we get into White Run, I guess we're stopping at the Hall of the Dead to talk to the the leader dude. We only care about the driver. He said he was going to be at the uh, tavern. We we want to check out the Hall of the Dead. The Noon Root's back. Noon Root, Noon Root. Yeah. Alrighty. Yeah, I, it's so weird. I mean... The... That's one of the big downsides with the Anniversary Edition content. They add a bunch of mods with no, and they can't. They don't. They can't make considerations for the mods you already have, right? They can't. They can't know what each player, what mods each player had. So that should definitely be a caveat when getting Anniversary Edition. Is if you play with mods, there's a chance it's going to clash, and there may, uh, there may have actually been a caveat, and I didn't see it. <laughs> They should have probably led with that. Made it a little bit more prominent. But, uh, yeah. I mean, we experienced that with our survival mod. It just, like, it stopped working. And it started crashing the game. Um, and, uh, oh, speaking of which. <laughs> speaking of crashing the game. Let's do a little bit of a, a little crash insurance there. There we go. Um, but, yeah, the, the whole sewer thing. Uh, sewers of Skyrim is a great mod. And I love it. And I... It just adds another facet to the game. Um, it's just... They really should... I don't know. I don't I don't know. I, I wish, they, I wish they, they worked together better. But there's no way. Because every manhole in, solid, in every city, every sewer cover that you go up to gives you the option to go into the sewer. Like right here. I can go into the sewers of Whiterun. Um... And uh, when you kind of stack another mod on top of that, it's like, oh, we also have a sewer. It's like, well, it doesn't really work. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm just going to have to disable it for the next stream. And then once we finish that uh, quest, we'll re-enable Sewers of Skyrim. Because um, it's great. I mean, it adds sewers in every, every, every major town except for Riften, because Riften already has sewers. Don't get too far ahead. All right. Uh, Hall of the Dead. Right over here. Let's talk to this dude. And see what, what must be done. You and me, we're the only people.
people around who aren't oh he's like fools. all the way in here okay and there are skeletons hello disarmed that one this guy over here Ooh. Okay. Oh, good. Another note. <laughs> ah, we met with, what is that? Sadras. Yeah, and picked up the cargo. At least their captain seemed in better spirits. But the others looked exhausted. To make matters worse, the air was flush with news about the caravans who didn't make it. Sieged by dwarven automatons on the road to Whiterun. My worry is such fear my worry is such fears will find their way into the minds of my men, especially when the details of their story seem to co corroborate. It only serves to throw more kindling onto the flame. Hopefully the other captains have a plan. We've had a few deserters already, and we'll need every available body if these attacks continue. It'll be difficult to convince the men to leave the safety of the tavern for the terrors of the unknown. Even without this dwarven nonsense, the road ahead will only get more perilous given the copious bandits, wolves, and other dangers on the road. Captain, I Captain Inodis has asked us to take a detour with the Drez caravan to Falkreath. Staying off the main road might provide us some cover. Alright, so now we're going to Falkreath, is it? We're going, we're going to Falkreath now. Okay. I'm not picking up that gem. I know it's there. I know it's a quest item. We're not doing that quest, so I'm not picking it up. <laughs> We're not joining the Thieves Guild, so there's no point in picking it up. It's just going to sit in our inventory forever. Got your back. Unless we go into console and there, there is a way to do it, but it's a pain in the butt. I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. Okay, to Falkreath. Right? Let me double check before I start doing stuff. Find the detoured caravans. They are, yes, just outside of Falkreath, near Peakshade Tower. Uh, so we will take the caravan to Falkreath to save some time. And not be constantly walking around. I'm sure viewers appreciate that. Because <laughs> Skyrim's all about the walking, man. That's the best part. No balls. <laughs> it is immersive, I'll give it that, but uh, for a stream, it's not so great. Very boring. It makes for boring content. But uh, I've uh, I've um, pretty much uh, committed to this, so we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna do it. Alright, um, gonna save it. Done. Why did I draw a weapon? Oh, thanks. Let's talk to Disaman. Need a ride? I'd like to hire your carriage. Where do you want to go? Falkry. Climb and back, and we'll be off. Okie doke. Get up there. <clears throat> uh oh, here comes my cat. What does she want? She's scratching on her scratching post. What's up? What are we doing? Yeah? Come here. Come here, you want to hang out with Papa? Yes, I refer my, to myself as Papa, to my cats. <laughs> Here, I'll move my mic a little bit. I've got your back. There, come here. Come here. Don't sniff the light. Come on. She's sniffing the light. Alright, whatever. She'll she'll hop in my lap if she Wait. wants to. I know you. Yep, yeah, I hear you. I don't think the mic's picking that up at all. Her scratching her scratching post. Okay. All right. Bye. Uh. 
Okay, let's see. What is going on here? Oh, no. It's gonna try to take a detour in, but nope. Or a side entrance. Uh, okay, it's just another ruined ca caravan. Cool. Iron arrows. Okay. Interesting. Looks like they tried to create a little wall there. Didn't really work. An attunement crystal. Okay. Interesting. Not an attunement crystal. That's one of those cubes from uh, Valene's letter. All right. It's one of the 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 cubes from uh, that Solstein dungeon. Dwemer dungeon. Uh, okay, cool. Some more random stuff. And yet another letter to read. Valene's letter. Okay. Right you. Let's read Valene's letter. The reports are right. Wraithguard and Sunda are, si are singing, sending a signal to en out to anyone that might be listening. I don't know how, but I think I know why. The tools were only meant to be used in... Nim numidu num numidium. Used on Numidium, it makes sense that they would never be allowed to leave Morrowind. To ensure this, Kagranak must have... Uh-oh, Kagranak, I have his fortress. <laughs> to ensure this, Kagranak must have put in a, a fail-safe system. If the tools are ever stolen, drones would be activated across Tamriel to recover them. The drones would then store the items in a vault until tonal, the, a tonal architect could fetch them. Unfortunately, as I suspected, that information was enough was enough for some of the captains to betray us and change course. They no longer care about the artifacts or the job. They consider the cargo to be a death trap and are taking measures to unload it. Your caravan might think they, they your caravan might think they were carrying the tools, but Sadrus and ha and Hlaun swapped them before we ever got to Whiterun and intentionally gave them up to the retrieval drones. Fortunately, I managed to track the drones back to a vault near Winterhold. God, I gotta go to Winterhold now. What the locals call the Sightless Pit. I've also discovered the vault can be opened with an attunement crystal, which I've sent along with this letter. As I am no warrior, I dare not venture inside without you. Hopefully, this message reaches your party in, a, in time, for I know if we are of like mind. Oh, for I know we are of like mind. As a scholar, I want to see the artifacts delivered to my master, and you have always been someone who does not shirk his duty. I have faith that you and your crew can return north and repair this mistake, Valene. All right. Well, looks like we're headed north. Okay, so we... <laughs> uh, all right, I can't search that ash, ash pile. Great. Well, we are right near our house, so uh, I think we should probably drop some stuff off and then take our carriage up to Winterhold. That seems prudent. And maybe also take a nap, because we were a little tired. We we're a little bit sleepy. You can see by our little magic bar being depleted slightly. We are definitely hungry. Our stamina. Our stamina is low. I don't know why that was funny. Oh, I can uh, pillage some food from Pine Watch since I cleared that out already. Didn't I? I think I did. Pretty sure I cleared out Pine Watch. Check the old streams. See if I did. <laughs> Check my VODs on YouTube. See if I, I cleared out Pine Watch. Always take a nap after walking for 30 miles. <laughs> yeah, seems like a good idea. At least, uh, you know, a nap. Uh, oh, yeah, there's food here. We can get. Ooh, hey, these are back. That? Oh, also the bandits are back. I'll let them take care of it, the bandit. <laughs> yeah, all right. Oh, saber cat pelts. Look at that. Iron arrows, potion of true shot. Um, bunch of food. All right. Whoops, didn't want a wooden plate. I hate the wooden plates. Always picking them up by accident. All right, wooden plate, drop. Bye. And I don't care about stealing food. I don't mind stealing bread. Uh, <laughs> that's a deep cut. Anyone else there like Temple of the Dog? Anyone? 
Temple of the Dog. Uh, it was uh, Soundgarden and uh, Pearl Jam before Soundgarden and Pearl Jam. Anyone? Temple of the Dog? No? Cool. Uh, <laughs> I can get some pheasant, some rabbit. Yeah, buddy. All this, all this rare, raw food stuffs, and some meat. And it doesn't matter because I'm going to be eating the evidence. It doesn't matter if I steal it because I'm going to be eating the evidence or cooking it and changing it into something else. So it doesn't even matter. Uh, yeah, lavender. Take that. All right, don't want any of that. <laughs> uh, oh, more. There's some salmon, some pheasant. Cool. Is it really stealing if it's stealing from bandits? I mean, honestly. What did I accidentally pick up? I accidentally picked that up. I don't want that. Gold. And more food. Rabbit legs, cabbages, potatoes, salt piles. All of them, please. Whoop. All of those. Oh, okay. Searching the thing. <laughs> Searching the cupboard. Uh, garlic. More dried ingredients. And I think that's it. Oh, bread. I don't mind stealing bread from the mouths of Dick Dance. But I can't see it. Wait, what's the next line? I don't remember. Anyway, uh, Temple of the Dog. Check them out. Uh, Hunger Strike. It's a good song. <laughs> Troll fat. I'll take it. And sure, I'll take some wine. Alright. It's like going to the grocery store. Every so often, this thing resets. <laughs> you can go in and just take a bunch of stuff. The same kind, you and I. If you can deal with the one bandit that's keeping watch. Uh, I did. To join the Legion. The United Empire is better for everyone. Sure, uh, you're headed the wrong way, but sure. <laughs> Oh, should we try uh, fishing? Or the fish back in the... I guess so. Let's try it. Let's try fishing. Whoops. Fishing. There we go. Ooh. I've got your back. Uh, did he throw it? Uh, why is a lot of good songs from the 90s or older had animal names in the song? <laughs> hey, we're the... Yeah, hey, we're the monkeys. Yeah. Oh, there it goes. There's the fishing net. All right. Yeah, seems odd. The monkeys, the beetles, the yard birds. <laughs> Is a go-go an animal? The go-go's? They're an animal, right? <laughs> White Rabbit by Jefferson Airplane, exactly. <laughs> War Pigs, Black Sabbath, sure. Whoops, do nothing. That's what I want. Harvest. Harvest my potion making ingredients, please. No, I don't want to activate fertile soil. I want to harvest jasmine. There it is. Black swan, but. <laughs> yeah. Peace frog. <laughs> Whoop, do nothing. King's There we go. More into vanilla. Imp stool. There we go. All right. Let's go ahead and turn off our... Next artist should make a song with that kind of title. Yeah, uh, just a... Just a... X Animal, or Animal X. <laughs> in, the t in the title. Guaranteed hit. There we go. Alright. Okay, let's put some, put some of this, this shiz away. We only got like 10 minutes left in our stream. It's cool. It's fine. It's fine. I don't think we're going to be getting up to uh, up to winter hold anytime immediately, but uh, we can definitely start to put some stuff away. Maybe make some meals for the next uh, next adventure. That seems like a good idea. Um, pheasant roast, rabbit haunches. Let's 
salmon steaks. Pheasant roast. One, two, three, four. Potato soup. One, two, three, four. Hot cabbage soup. Sure. Hot apple cabbage stew. Boom. And we're done. <clears throat> Plenty of food for the upcoming shenanigans. Um, okay. Let's see. I do need to make some potions. 100%. So let's do that as well. So, uh, we have so many new weird ingredients, I have no clue what they do. So, <laughs> it's just... Uh. Okay. Bloodgrass. Oh, yeah. I remember that from uh, Oblivion. Uh, so, I don't know what we're doing. Blisterwort. Blisterwort. Hanging moss and wheat. Hanging moss and wheat. We just got a bunch of wheat. There it is. 14. Nice. Restores 32 points of health. Well, could be worse. Could not have a healing potion. There. Done. And I guess we'll make more of our snake oil. Because why not? We might as well. Um, blue butterfly wing, blue mountain flower. We can make 18 of these, which will level up our alchemy. And get us closer to another level. There we go. All right, and can we? I think we can. Uh, Canis root. Yeah, we have a few. Actually, we have more. There's more over here. I'm gonna get, get more before I start this process. All right, so we want Canis root. We want imp stool. Imp stool. And we want Mora tapenella. Did I not plant more tapenella? I guess not. We probably have a bunch. It's pretty common, so yeah, that's fine. <clears throat> Canis root. Imp stool. Where are you? Where are you? Yeah, I don't know what the hell that does. <laughs> what? I mean, oh, I can't. Oh, I can't zoom in because I'm not in my inventory. That's fine. Imp stool and more. Uh, tap oh, I have four. Great. All right. Great. All right. Well. <sighs> yes, put up. That works. I'll be uh, lurking, scrubbing dishes, cooking. Hey, sounds good. We're gonna wrap things up in the next few minutes, but but thanks for thanks for stopping in. Always appreciate it, man. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, I kind of want to store my ingredients, but that's bleh. kind of bleh. You know, bleh, snuh. Uh, let's just let's just store it. We gotta get it done. All right, so store A. We will store that many. Try to keep five of everything, or five of five of most objects in my ingredients inventory. If it has more than five, I store. Some. Got a lot of danger hearts. Jeez. Uh, Elm's ear. Saber cat eyeballs. Flame stock. What the hell is flame stock? All right. Uh, yep. Get rid of some of the. Oh, that's fine. Harada. Is that the stuff that kept attacking me in the in Oblivion? Uh, that stuff. Only have one of those. <laughs> one of those weird ass things. 
Yeah, oh, now we can now we can zoom in and look at this. What the heck is this? I don't I don't know. I have no idea. Has someone has someone gone ahead and made a comprehensive guide to all of the new ingredients that you can find in Anniversary Edition? Like this? Like this like this semi-solid pile of pee? Or uh, someone spilled mustard on the table, or uh, someone mustard or custard, either one could be either. Yeah, some of this new stuff is weird. <laughs> uh, like ogre's teeth. There are no ogres in the game. They're only giants. Where are we getting ogres teeth? Are they in other Elder Scrolls games? Do they have ogres in other old? I guess this is the question. What have you, what? How? <laughs> Red kelp gas bladder. That sounds like a like a like a. Voice exercise. <laughs> I slit a sheet, a sheet, a sheet, I slit. Red kelp glass bladder. Red kelp gas bladder. Red kelp gas bladder. The arsonist has oddly shaped feet. The human torch was denied a bank loan. Scallon fin. What's a scallon? You couldn't do... You couldn't do... Uh, uh, what is it? Slaughterfish skin? We have we seen slaughterfish. What's a scallon? <sighs> See these I don't mind. These are canon. They're from other things. Are the other things canon? I guess I guess they might be. So I don't know. <laughs> Stone flower petals. That also might be canon from another game. I don't know. Let's see. White salts, and yeah, we're about at the end. Watcher's eye. No idea. Is that a plant? Is it an actual eye? I have no idea. Uh, we're about at the end of our stream. Um, thanks, everyone, for stopping by. Uh, um, uh, um, it's always appreciated. Um, uh, we'll be back on Thursday. For what is this withering? What is that supposed to be? We'll be back on Thursday for more uh, Breath of the Wild. Um, we're uh, coming along pretty good in there. Um, just finding shrines, getting more uh, stamina added to our thing, trying not to die, which is you know, we're doing okay. We're, we're I think we might possibly try to take on a Lionel uh, this Thursday. Uh, it's not as hard as it sounds. They're not. As long as you know what you're doing, you can take one on with three hearts. And if you have halfway decent armor, which we have now, so yeah, if you if you're if you're naked, it's a little more difficult because they can still one shot you. If you have decent armor, you can take a hit and then bounce back, heal up, um, and, and go back at it. And you you also want to have a decent arsenal. That's the big thing. You want an arsenal, your arsenal full of things that do a decent amount of damage, or else it's just, it's not gonna work. <laughs> <laughs> you could have a bunch of sticks in your inventory and you would just basically do nothing. It would it would do nothing. Um so uh yeah, we might do that. Just 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 a for some just an added bonus. Um and then the following Saturday we'll be back with more Skyrim. If anyone's looking for a game of Dungeons and Dragons to play monthly, I run a game through Eventbrite. Uh, I'm Dice and Brews over at Eventbrite. Um, tickets, there it is, right on my overlay, right up there. Tickets are $8, it gets you a seat at the table and a greater healing potion for your character for that session. Um, and uh, they are dungeon crawls, so if you miss a month, you won't miss too much story. Uh, it's just kick in, the, kick in the door, fight the monster, get experience, um, and uh, survive. Uh, I, do make the, I do make the encounters a little difficult just to keep things fun and interesting. <laughs> Otherwise, it's very boring. Um, and uh, so, yeah, check that out. If you're interested, you can uh, find information on the Eventbrite page if you search for Dyson Brews, or you can find 
information on it uh, at my website, dicebrews.com, uh, which also has information for private games. If you are interested in me uh, running a private game for you and your friends, I do offer that service. So check that out if you're interested. Um, if you're looking for a non-D&D game to play with your friends and or family over voice and video chat, check out tourguidegames.com. They offer on-demand, professionally, professionally led TTRPGs for you and your friends and family. All you need is a smartphone. You don't, you don't even need uh, pen and paper or dice. Your tour guide is more than happy to uh, take care of any of that for you, any dice rolling or note taking for you. And even then, there's not a whole lot of that uh, required. The games are very rules light uh, and they are they are easy, easy to learn and fun to play over the course of a couple hours. Um, games like All Out of Bubblegum, Time and Temp, Lasers and Feelings, right Project Ninja Panda Taco, um, Guild of Orpheus, Honey Heist, Fiasco, uh, games like that. So if you're looking for um, just uh, a game to play with your family, um, if maybe you've moved re recently and uh, you uh, you want to reconnect with them with a, for a game night and, and close the distance, it's a great option for that. Or if you uh, if you're quarantining and you have a regular game night that you want to get back up and going with your friends, um, uh, it's it's a good option there. Uh, in the same vein, or if you are um, an employer who is looking to have a team build building exercise for um, employees or even remote employees, it's perfect for that because it can connect anyone over a great distance. Um, it's perfect, and they, they've done that uh, many times now to great effect. Um, and uh, yeah, uh, so uh, check them out if you're interested, again, over at tourguidegames.com. Uh, they don't sponsor the stream. Uh, just, to, just to note, they, I just like trying to throw them, throw them some business if I can. They're good people over there. Um, and uh, that's about it. Aside from that, everyone, please uh, stay safe. Wear a mask. Wash your hands. Don't touch your face while you're out and about. Uh, social distance whenever possible. The mask goes over your nose and mouth at the same time. Uh, check and see in your area if you're eligible for uh, the vaccine and or the booster by this point i think everyone everyone should uh, be able to to do it and should do it um and uh, aside from that everyone please uh, just be excellent to each other and uh we will see you next time oh wherever this is bye bye hey what's up if you enjoyed this video be sure to hit the like button and also hit the bell if you want to know when i post some new stuff uh you can see some of my other stuff right over there on the screen